Kyotaku means fish impression, fish printing. You know, it's like transferring it onto paper. I guess it started in Japan a long time ago, before they had cameras and they used Gyotaku as a way to record what they caught. Gyotaku is a unique architect, trying to make it come alive again. It has a, something to keep forever. When I watch videos of other people spearfishing, it makes me jealous. I used to dive every weekend with my friends. I hurt my sinuses from diving, you know, going down too deep and forcing myself down. It would bleed a lot every time, so... So that's why I kind of stopped diving. I just couldn't go down anymore. I can't find any like female like spearfishing partners. I have yet to find one actually. It's easy to like get upset at yourself, come out again and again and again with nothing. But I kind of learned to accept the fact that you can't win every time. People never really think you can dive. They're always like, oh, like you caught that fish? No, no you didn't. I always liked fishes because my dad was a fisherman. He was a commercial fisherman. Comes home from fishing, we would always go outside and look at what he caught. When I first started, yeah, I used to make a lot of mistakes, so I would have to throw away a lot of prints. But yeah, it took me a long time to kind of get it down. 20-something years already. <laughs> the rice paper we use today is synthetic rice paper more durable and I guess it can last forever. The more you do it, the more you know how much paint to apply. 
you don't want to put too much paint or too little. You want it kind of just right and try to keep the shape of the fish true. It's like memorializing it. Yeah. Ocean means everything. I mean, being in the water, salt water, yeah. It just makes you feel refreshing, yeah. My mind from diving changed a lot from the last four years. You've got to think about the process. I'm either going to buy fish in the store or I'm going to catch it myself. The freshest, it's the most eco-friendly and it's, it's fun. <laughs> go out, dive, have fun. And it doesn't need to be like crazy, intensive, stressful diving. You must catch something all the time. The fish appear when they want to appear. Even like just going out and not shooting anything and just like seeing that there are fish around is really nice. Catching a fish is a plus. There's always gonna be another chance where you have fish. And like, I don't wanna take more than I need. You know, one fish is big enough. And if I catch it, then I can share it with like my friends or my family. And I know the fish is gonna be taken care of and I know it's gonna go to good places, make a lot of people happy. So when you put all of that together, it just gives me another reason to go diving again when I, I run out of fish. I am the painter. A huntress between the corals. garlic, ginger, salt, pepper, shoyu sugar, mirin, and then you put the hot oil right over. That would be, that was the best. <laughs> and it'll just sizzle, yeah. <laughs> just so ono, ono-licious. <laughs>